Fox, our next guest is calling for the creation of an international safety panel to govern AI. I want to bring in Mustafa Suleiman. He's the co-founder of AI Research Lab DeepMind, acquired by Google, and now co-founder and CEO of Inflection AI. His latest book is called The Coming Wave, Technology Power and the 21st Century's Greatest Dilemma. And he's, I, I want to say, one of the great thinkers uh, on this very issue. Mustafa, the question that I can't figure out is, at a time when from a government perspective, at least here in the United States, nobody can get their act together. There's, there's nobody, you know, there's no Speaker of the House. We've been talking about how to regulate social media for a decade. Never happened. How is it possible that we're going to have some kind of international committee that's going to agree on anything when it comes to AI? <laughs> Look, this is a very modest baby step, right? What we're trying to propose is to break out the various different functions that you might have in a regulator. Instead of including the policy making component or including the audit function that would be required to verify um, the state of the current capability of a technology inside of a company, we're simply proposing that an international panel on AI safety modeled on the IPCC would focus on establishing the scientific consensus about where capabilities are at and where they might be going. Because the challenge we have at the moment is that a lot of policymakers don't have the information to make sensible regulations. And so there's a risk of a knee-jerk overreaction where folks think that we're on the risk, on the cusp of some dramatic existential threat, which personally I don't think is justified and might cause people to be alarmist and panicked. And in fact, what we need is an independent body that can provide very straightforward, scientific, expert-led, impartial um, assertions about where AI technologies are at today and where they're headed. Mustafa, how much of this, though, is going to require um, the sharing of data and information and, and really the cooperation, I mean, the demonstrable cooperation of the AI companies and maybe even beyond that, to hardware companies and other software companies that are interrelated. And I ask because, as you know, when it comes to social media, for example, uh, there has not been the kind of transparency that might be required to actually understand fully the impacts of all of these technologies on us as a society, on our psyche. I mean, the amount of information that a TikTok or even, even a Facebook has on sort of how we interact with this stuff, I think, is beyond what most people even understand. No, that's a very fair question. And I certainly think that over time, if you want to verify the state of capabilities in different companies and do audit, then of course, you would need access to proprietary internal information that would include software, it would include training data. Arguably, it might even include the model weights, which is the sort of infrastructure for actually training these big large language models. You know, my company, Inflection AI, would be very happy to support that. Several other companies across the industry have said they would be happy to support it as well. So there is a groundswell of energy emerging here for, you know, proactive cooperation. I think many of the big tech companies are learning the lessons from social media, where everyone, I think, in hindsight can agree that there probably wasn't enough transparency, that the companies moved too late and were insufficiently responsive on some obvious, you know, concerns that everybody could see, for example, with the rise of anorexia or bullying on platforms like Instagram, for example, which was self-evident to parents and communities for a long time before there was any appropriate intervention. This time round, we're saying, and other companies are saying too, that this is a great opportunity to try and get ahead of that and doesn't actually require particularly onerous interventions. Like we're really only talking about the very largest tech companies in the world. We're not talking about small, medium-sized enterprises that are using AI APIs to try and improve their business on a day-to-day -day basis. We're talking about the frontier labs, uh, you know, myself included, Anthropic, OpenAI, Google, obviously, Microsoft. Um, and I think that's very important for not harming the innovation ecosystem because today, the open source movement is on fire. It's one of the most creative and exciting times in Silicon Valley. People are building and making like but, never before. I mean, but and, Mustafa, and I think that that's the, going to continue. 